excuse me for the mess behind me. I'm in the process of fixing everything. Um, the new year, I figured I was gonna redo my background and redo the space that I film at and just reorganize my, my makeup, everything. So I'm in the process of putting a table behind me, which right now is not there. It's kind of like two drawers behind me right now, but um, it'll get nicer. I am really excited about doing this, um, a review of this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Coverage or Total Cover Foundation. Um, this came out last month and I am super excited because I really like the combination of these two, whoops, these two foundations. I tried this one initially, the Infallible Pro Matte, and I hated it because it was too dry for my skin. But then this one came out, the Glow, um, Pro Glow came out, and um, I didn't want to be too glowy, so I went and bought, re -bought, purchased the matte, and I love the combination of the two. I feel that it's a perfect balance for my skin. So when they said that they were going to come out with a full coverage, I wasn't sure if I was going to love it or not love it, and I wanted to kind of review it for you. I've already dampened my beauty blender and I think I'm gonna use this because I think it's going to be a super thick coverage. So I'm just gonna use this damp beauty blender and squeeze. Oh, and the color I'm using is 307. So I'm gonna try the 307. It is the, um, it's the sand beige and usually that is normally for, for a drugstore foundation is the color for me so I just picked up the sand beige so here we go it looks very thick as you can see it's a very moussey kind of thick foundation it's not at all runny or anything like that so I'm gonna apply it I've already done my eye makeup because I am in kind of a hurry to get out of the house and I wanted to just do my foundation routine really fast and um, just do this review for you and I was gonna do like a um, check in in three four hours to show you how it looks right now the coverage looks really super thick it's um it's a full coverage definitely it's a full coverage it covered my redness it covered the little spots i have on my skin i'm gonna try it on the other side it seems like the color is okay it's a bit on a beige side I figured by the time I'm done with my bronzer and blush and everything, it's gonna even out with my skin tone. But I think it's a it's a it's a good color. I don't want to go too yellow. So I'm gonna I squeeze this much again for the other side. It seems like this is enough for one side of the face. It wasn't enough to cover my whole entire face, which is fine. I'm just gonna put this on this side. I really really like the coverage on this. Let me get a closer mirror. Hold on one second. It seems to be a little bit drier than I like it to be. It seems like um, it's not really sinking into the fine lines and pores, but it's making it look drier. So that's one thing I'm noticing right away. I'm gonna put more on my nose because I have I don't know, for some reason, I think it, it's because of this um, new cream that I'm using. It has retinol in it. I feel like my face has gotten more red um, ever since I started using that. And I think that's one of the things that retinol does. Well, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I will show you how it looks with everything on. And then throughout the day, I will check back with you and you know, kind of uh, let you know how it's doing. I'm just gonna put some concealer under my eyes and put my bronzer and blush and a little bit of highlight because I feel like it's a little bit too matte for me. Okay, now I have everything on. I'm gonna run around, do some errands. I have to eat lunch. It's really late, it's around three o'clock I believe. What time is it? Where's my phone? I uh, did not do a lot of powders because this foundation is so, um, full coverage and a little bit on the drier side so I didn't powder my face that much. The only place I powdered a little bit was my forehead and my nose. I didn't even powder, I didn't powder this area. Just powdered a little bit here. I just avoided doing too much powdering. I just want to see how this foundation will work. So we just had dinner. 
Um, and whoops. Oh yeah, stop saying, repeating what I'm saying. Um, oh, my camera's dying. Oh goodness gracious. So we just had dinner. It's been uh, about our, an hour and a half. I just wanted to check back with you to let you know that the foundation is still the same. It hasn't moved. There's no dry, um, there is no oily patch here. There's no separation. It looks really nice. I'm uh, the lighting is not good to show you, but when I get home, I'm going to show you how it looks with the lighting in the studio. But right now, as I'm now looking in the mirror, it looked really good. I am very impressed with it so far, and it's only been an hour and a half. So I will check back with you again once I get home. It's 7:45. It's been almost five hours since I've had this foundation on and um, I'm kind of ready to take it off. Um, my final thoughts on this foundation is that actually I really like the color match, first of all, now that I waited for the foundation to set and see if it does oxidize or not. It didn't really oxidize, which is a good thing. The sand beige is a better match, even though it's not as yellow, it's still, I feel like it works with everything else that I have going on on my cheeks like the bronzer and everything once I put everything on I feel like the color match is better much better my t-zone is a little bit oily right now I feel like the foundation is has gotten a little bit oily even though I I put a, a little bit of powder on the, in this area I feel like it's gotten oilier over um, the four hours four and a half hours my chin area, which is also a little bit oily at times, is, um, you know, my foundation has rubbed off on this area, but I didn't set this with a powder either because it was so dry and matte that I didn't feel like I needed to set it. But um, it looks like it's a little bit oily. And throughout the four, four and a half hours that I had it on, I feel like my face was a little bit itchy. I'm not sure if this has something to do with the foundation but I never feel that way with any other foundation I, I just wanted to kind of like go like this and itch my face at times and especially my chin area I felt a little itchy which I don't know if it has something to do with with the foundation or I was just happened to have an itch on my cheeks but um, it happened uh, several times so it kind of makes me wonder if it is actually the foundation that maybe it's too heavy for my face for my skin it looks like i'm wearing foundation it just uh, from far away i really like how it looks i feel like my skin looks um you know it, it looks really nice but from closer i feel like i really i have foundation on that that's how it looks like um my pores it shows my pores a little bit which i'm not liking that much Maybe there's a little bit of separation on the chin now that I look at it really up close. I feel like if you have a, a very large pores and you have fine lines and wrinkles, you may not want to go purchase this one. You might want to keep it on a lighter side, use a foundation that's a little bit lighter. Um, this would be good if you're going to an event maybe at night where the light is very dim and you know you don't have too much light on your skin so it doesn't show the imperfections I don't know I'm not sure how I feel about this really I mean I did share a lot of thoughts but I really don't know if I if I like it I'm I still want to go back to my lighter foundations Definitely wouldn't use this on a daily basis. I feel like it's a little bit too thick for my for me So Anything anyone normal skin to oily skin I Feel like they would like this foundation and if you have really dry skin, I would completely avoid this foundation But if you are more of a normal skin, I would say that could it could work for you I still feel like if you're oily skin you would probably want to get the pro matte infallible pro matte because i feel like that would be really nice on your skin if you're really oily um yeah those were my thoughts on this um my first impression and thoughts on this foundation i will try it a couple of times more and let you know if i do find a way to make this work maybe combine it 
with another foundation, maybe try it with the Pro Glow foundation and see if I can make it work. But I feel like if you have to really mix your foundation so much, then maybe you should just get something else. I mean, <laughs> that's all I can say about it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this first impression and sort of kind of a review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos weekly and I will be doing more drugstore reviews. Um, let me know in the comments below what kind of um, drugstore products you'd like me to review and do first impressions or swatches for you. I would be happy to do it for you and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.